up to one third of all dogs will go missing in their lifetime. And even more seriously, 80% of dogs may never be found and returned to their home again. Time really is of the essence if you want to successfully find your dog and bring them back to being part of your family. Well, these nine simple steps will help you prepare ahead of time and then should your dog go missing, help you quickly come up with an action plan to successfully bring them home. And stick around to the end where I'll let you know how you can be alerted in the very first instant if your dog leaves your property and then how you can track them even if you're away from home. Hi, I'm veterinarian Dr. Alex and this is Our Pets Health, where I help you optimise and understand your dog's health so that they can live the full and happy life that you want for them. And my first step is to make sure that your dog is microchipped. Also to make sure that your dog's microchip number is included in your national database. Now in some countries there may be a number of different databases so you could really speak to your vet about which one is best to put your dog on. And then finally you need to make sure that all of your details are kept up to date so that if you do change cell phone, if you move house, you need to remember to update your dog's microchip details on that national database. The next step to prepare for the potential that your dog could go missing is to make sure that you've got some really clear photographs of your dog taken from different angles and also highlighting any distinctive markings or patterns on their coat, which could make a real difference when it comes to identifying your dog from a number of similar dogs that may be found in a shelter, for example. And if your dog does go missing, the first step is to stay calm and double check your house. Make sure you've checked your garage, you've checked your shed or any outhouses. Have you checked underneath your house? It may be that your dog has chased a cat or a rodent, for example, and become stuck somewhere. So take a deep breath and double check your entire property. If your dog is confirmed to be missing, then now is the time to call all of your local veterinarians, any emergency clinics in your area, all of the shelters, the rescue organisations, the charity clinics, the dog control officer, the pound, everywhere that your dog may have been taken. You should also make sure that this area is actually quite wide. Within a 50 mile area is a good place to start. Now that might seem overwhelming, but a quick Google search will help make sure that you tackle everybody. One top tip for dealing with local shelters is to make sure you visit them as well as call them. It may be that there's a number of different people working there and they're not completely up to date with any new dogs that have been brought into that shelter. So going repeatedly over a number of different days will make sure that your dog hasn't slipped through the net and is actually there waiting for you. Now, if your dog hasn't been handed in anywhere, now's the time to get searching your local area. It can really help to involve friends or neighbours in this to make sure you can cover a lot of ground quickly. You do need to make sure that any search is thorough, slow and systematic. So make sure that you're knocking on doors, you're asking neighbours to check their garage, check their outhouses. Um, you need to also be marking the areas that you're looking. You can use something as simple as Google Maps for this, just to make sure that you don't miss any streets, alleyways or neighbourhoods. You can also check at different times of day and even during the night. You clearly need to keep yourself safe if you are searching at night, but it could be that your dog is hiding because they're in an unfamiliar area and actually, when things are quiet and down, there's less people, there's less traffic, they're more likely to hear you calling for them and they're more likely to come out of hiding to be reunited with you. If your local search draws a blank, now is the time to get involved with posters. And this is where those photos in step number two can come in really handy. So any posters that you produce, they need to really catch people's eye so that they'll stop and read them. So use bright coloured paper, use large fonts with big colourful writing, have really clear photos on there and then once people are reading they clearly need to know some specific details. So you should have a description of your dog including any distinctive markings that may not show up clearly in a photograph. They also need to have really clear ways to get in touch with you. And I'd suggest here at least a couple of different ways. Now that could be a cell phone, email address, even a social media handle, just so that it's really easy for people to get in touch with you with any sighting 
or if they actually physically have your dog. As for where to put those posters, really focus on high traffic areas. So clearly um, power poles and things like that are great, but also consider any, any friendly coffee shops or grocery stores that may be more than happy to help you find your dog by putting a poster at the till, for example, or in the window for lots of people to see. The next step is to use the power of social media. So most areas will have a local Facebook group, for example, so make sure you're posting your dog's details there. Also any local Reddit groups, um, post it on Craigslist, anywhere else where lots of people in your neighborhood hang out online is a great place to publicize the fact that your dog is missing. You then also need to be updating your own Facebook page, your Instagram feed, Instagram stories, TikTok, Snapchat, wherever it is that you hang out online, make sure that you include the fact that your dog is missing, have some great photos and keep those feeds refreshed so that people are more likely to see it and more likely to take action to try and find your dog or just to simply keep their eye out and then easily let you know should they have a sighting. Now keeping things local, also get in touch with your local newspaper or radio station. They may be more than happy to run a piece to highlight the fact that your dog is missing, you know, especially maybe if they've been stolen or there are other aspects to the story that they would like to highlight and that can really help to drive publicity and awareness that may result in your dog being found really quickly. Also as awareness grows, if your dog has actually been stolen, then those dog nappers will find it increasingly hard to actually sell your dog to someone else. And so that means they're more likely to then abandon your dog where they're then going to be found and reunited with you. And then if you can afford it, you can also consider actually running ads on Facebook on your, in your local newspaper, on the radio, and also offering a reward just to motivate people that little bit extra to finding your dog. And because time is of the essence, and sometimes odds really are stacked against you when it comes to finding a lost dog, wouldn't it be great if you could be alerted as soon as your dog left your property and then actually track them simply on your phone? Well, that's something that you actually can do with tracking locators and activity monitors that attach to your dog's collar, something like the Whistle Go or the Fit Bark, and I'll leave links to those in the description down below, will alert you if your dog leaves their pre-designated safe place for your home or your yard, for example, and they'll then easily allow you to track your dog's location on your cell phone so long as they remain within cell reception themselves. That can be a simple and very powerful way to quickly find your dog and to bring them back to safety. As an added bonus, the whistle go and the fit bark will also alert you to signs and symptoms of poor health. For example, skin disease, arthritis, and just generally feeling under the weather. So they can be a really valuable addition to your pet's healthcare plan in general, regardless of whether they ever go missing or not. Now, unfortunately, dog theft is also on the rise and that affects any breed of dog. And so all owners should be aware of the simple steps that you can take to prevent your dog being stolen. And I discuss those in detail in my video linked on screen now. But until next time, I'm Dr. Alex. This is Our Pets Health because they're family.